What's going on? It's Kev Obato, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to access your Botticera machine from Android, from iPhone, on your smart TV and other devices. You can access it in the car, on a train, on the toilet, on the moon. Hell, who knows? The possibilities are endless. But you know me, let's not waste any more time, and let's get right into the video. All right. Starting off, I'm just going to explain the two applications that we're going to use today are Moonlight and Sunshine. Sunshine is what you're going to have on your Botticera system, and Moonlight is what you're going to use as an application on any of your phones, smart TVs, things like that. First thing we're going to do is make sure that our machines are connected to Wi-Fi. Also, in your network settings menu, it'll show your IP address, which you may need depending on how you go about connecting your machine. So very quickly, if you go into your Botticera menu, then you go down to network settings, boom. So the very top will be your IP address and just make sure you're connected to the internet. And like I said, just remember where you can find that IP address because you may need it later, depending on how you set up Sunshine. We're gonna click F1 to go into the file manager. We're gonna go up to applications and we're gonna open Xterm. Now here, we're gonna be installing the BUA the Botticera unofficial add-ons installer. And if you already have the BUA, then you can skip. I'll have timestamps in the description. You can check those and just skip ahead. So now we're typing in the command. This command is gonna install the BUA. This gives you access to all of the add-ons that the Notorious Fox has worked on. Shout out to him again. He's a legend. Right now it's doing its thing. Oh, I don't know what it's doing. I'm just trusting it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> But uh, anyways, really shout out to the Notorious Fox. Once the BUA is done installing, you can type exit and then click enter and it'll close the terminal. And then we can go up to file, close window, and that'll close the file manager. So now what you're going to do is go over to ports. And now you're going to have this icon here, the BUA, the Botticera Unofficial Add-ons installer. So go ahead and click on that. If this is your first time accessing the BUA, feel free to watch my video on the BUA. It shows off more in depth on how it works, how to use it. If you need, you can reference that video. I'll leave it in a card in the top right. Now we're gonna go down to System Utilities and we're going to install Moonlight, Firefox, and Sunshine. So find all those options. And if you want, feel free to use Chrome or Brave instead of Firefox. That's just what I'm gonna use. We're gonna use the web browser just to access our Sunshine interface. Right now on the screen, that is just the BUA installing everything. So we got Moonlight and Sunshine installed on our machine. So what we can do is we can go ahead and go up to return. And then that will take us back to this menu and we can go to exit. Now we're done with the BUA. We actually have all of the applications we need to go ahead and set up Sunshine, set up Moonlight, and be ready to access our machine. Very quickly, this is the Moonlight application. So if you decided you wanted to access, maybe if you had a stronger gaming PC, if you wanted to access that PC from Botticera, then that's when Moonlight would come in handy. So mainly in today's video, we're gonna be showing how to access your Botticera machine from other machines. But like I said, if you wanna use Moonlight to connect to Sunshine that you're hosting on your gaming PC or a stronger computer, then you can do that as well. For now, let's get back to showing how to set up Sunshine. So we're gonna open the web browser that we installed earlier, whichever one that was for you. Doesn't really matter. I use Firefox, so I downloaded Firefox. All we're gonna do is go up into the URL and we're gonna type in the following. Now, if you're using a web browser directly from your Botticera machine, then you can type in what I type in here now. If you're not, then you're gonna to need to type in something separate. I'll also leave that on the screen as well. But if you're using the machine locally, then you can type in host 47990. And I'll leave it here, like I said. Um, then you'll have to say, hey, I accept the risk, and you'll be on this screen. So once you're on this screen, you're going to create a password. Everybody's got to do this their first time. So, And your username will be Sunshine, unless you change. I'm making my password, and once I do that, 
you just go ahead and click log in and we'll continue from there. So once you click log in, it's gonna bring up a small pop-up and you're gonna need to type in the credentials that you just made. So the username is Sunshine if you didn't change it and the password is whatever you made your password. Once you type that in, you can click sign in and now you're done setting up Sunshine. Now you've got your credentials, I save them so I don't have to worry about that. But now what we're gonna have to do is set up some stuff on the phone side or the device that you're gonna use to access your Botticera machine. So in this case, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing using the Android phone. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna switch over to the Android view, show you downloading Moonlight, and then we'll come back and set up with our pin that Moonlight gives us. So back over on my Android, we're gonna to go to the Play Store and you're gonna search for Moonlight. The application icon is gonna look like what's on the screen now. You're gonna download that, and once you download it, you're just gonna open it and we'll continue there. All right, so once you've downloaded and you open Moonlight, if both machines are on the same local network, then you should automatically see a pop-up as you can see it came up as Botticera because I haven't renamed it or anything yet. As you can also see, it says pairing. And so there's a pin there. So what we have to do is to go back over to our Botticera machine and add this pin on our Sunshine interface, uh, the interface we just left where we created the username and password. So let's do that now. Then we'll come back and show you what it looks like on the Android. All right, so back over on our Botticera machine, if you haven't messed with it, you'll still be on this screen here after creating your login credentials for your Sunshine interface. So all you gotta do is go up and click on pin, and you're gonna type in the pin that we just got from our Android phone or other device. Moonlight will always spit out a pin when connecting to a new device. Anyways, I'm typing in the pin and I'm typing in my phone. I'm also adding in Wi-Fi at the end because in a second video, I'm gonna show you how you can access it from a cellular connection or a different network remotely. For now, you'll click send. You should get a success pop up and momentarily we'll switch back over to Android and you'll see that now my screen is mirrored. You can also do things like connect different controllers to your phone and Botticera will pick it up as a second controller. We'll back out of here, show you the side-by-side -side of Botticera working on the you know main computer and then Botticera working on the Android phone. And then I'll give you a few examples, show you it playing a game, and we can wrap up today's video. After you successfully type in your pin over on your other device, it may take a second, but it'll load right in and then you can click desktop. I don't know what all the other desktops are for. You can click desktop one and boom. As you can see, I've accessed my Botticera machine right from my Android phone. And here in a second, I'll go in and show you me testing it with a PS3 game. So your performance is really going to depend on how well your internet connection is and also how good your machine is. It's not perfect, but this is just one of the ways that you can access your Botticera machine from other devices. All right, so we're almost at the end of the video. What I'll do very quickly is go in and test a PS3 game. In a second, I'll put up the footage from the phone as well so you can see it side by side. Just an FYI, and I'll probably repeat it again when it, the time comes, but in this video, the only controller is connected to my phone. The controller is not connected to my Botticera machine at all. It's connected to my phone, and then through some wizard magic, Botticera picks it up as just the controller it is. Anyways, I'll let this play for just a second and we'll wrap up this video. All right, a quick fast forward through all the menus and we're here. I've tried to sync up the footage as best as possible so you can see here is my phone and there is, you know, the Botticera machine running through just the TV. Like I said earlier, if you missed it, that controller is connected to the phone only. It's not connected to my Botticera machine. I don't know what wizard magic it is that makes it work. That controller is connected to my phone, not to the Botticera machine. Anyways, this was just really to show you all that Moonlight and Sunshine do work so that you can play your Botticera machine from other devices. So any device that can download Moonlight, you can log in with your pin on your Sunshine interface and connect and play. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.